This cine sex, cine romanzo of the 1971 movie La Lunga Spiegia Freda or The Lonely Violent Beach was one of the few movies directed by Ernesto Gastaldi who was more commonly known as a scriptwriter. It has a married couple played by Robert Hoffman and Gastaldi's real life wife Mara Maril on holiday at their beach house when a gang of bikers intrude and proceed to assault and humiliate them. This is an early example of movies where people are held captive and humiliated for kicks. Later examples of this were Wes Craven's classic The Last House on the Left and Ruggiero Diodato's the, the House on the Edge of the Park. The Lonely Violent Beach isn't as nasty as those two movies but it still leaves a bitter taste in the mouth. There are some fairly random articles in this issue of Cinesex such as a piece from a Yugoslavian nudist camp but for me the most interesting article is the five pages that they give us on Africa Amma from 1971 which is one of the Mondo movies that was directed by the brothers Alfredo and Angelo Castiglione. Like the majority of their work it shows us the raw and uncompromising tribal lifestyle of natives in part of Africa. For the lonely violent beach I have four photo boosters and a Locandina poster. The film in this edition of Cinesex is under the title of I Selvaggi which is in fact Guido Leone's 1971 film Ore di Terrore. Like with the two movies that I discussed in the previous video to this Il Sesso delle Angeli and Top Sensation Ore di Terrore is one of those erotic semi jello dramas that has much of its running time set on a yacht. For, for a while this movie looked as though it was going to venture into the same sort of territory as the lonely violent beach with the women in the boats being held captive against their will but this aspect of the movie isn't exploited to its fullest. In this magazine is also an article on the film Il Dio Serpente and there is part six of the serialization of the Mondo film L'Amore Questo Sconosciuto. I also have a nice set of eight photo boosters for Ore di Terore. This is the Cinesex Attualita release of Roberto Montero Bianchi's Rivelazioni di un Maniaco Sociale El Capo della Squadra Mobile or the, the Slasher is a Sex Maniac. Most hardcore fans of the Giallo genre will enjoy this particular example because it includes so many of the staple ingredients that we've come to appreciate from this genre such as plenty of nudity and a black glove killer with a ludicrous motivation. Roberto Montero Bianchi was an unpredictable director who worked in many different genres. He was actually one of the most prolific directors of the sexy cabaret style Mondo movies but most of these are particularly hard to find and it's almost impossible to watch. There's also an article on Alfonso Brescia's Sexy Peplum Elena K. Troy which was also made as a 
Cine Romanzo by that other Cine Romanzo publication, Cine Stop. For the slasher is a sex maniac, I also have an Italian brochure, a Mexican lobby card, another South American black and white steel which could be Mexican but I'm not sure, a Locandina and a photo booster. This Cine Romanzo of Jesus Franco's 1969 Justine is actually issue one of the Spanish version of Cinesex. At only 20 pages, this issue can only be considered a massive disappointment. Justine had already been released as an Italian Cinesex and when looking at this scaled down version, you kind of feel that it must be some kind of unapproved ripoff. Justine is typical of the work of Jesus Franco from this period where he tries to push the boundaries of what is acceptable in exploitation movies. This is a Liechtenstein West German Italian American co-production and it doesn't appear to have too much Italian involvement. For Justine I already have an incomplete set of 11 German lobby cards. This Mexican lobby card for Sergio Garone's Nazi exploitation movie SS Camp 5 Women's Hell just arrived today so I thought I'd add it to this video. The Spanish language title on this lobby card translates as the Red Knights of the Gestapo and this is actually the English language title for a different Nazi exploitation movie directed by Fabio de Agostini but don't be fooled because this is indeed a lobby card for SS Camp 5 Women's Hell. The last three items that I'm going to be showing you are for films that I didn't previously have any pictures for at all. Therefore I'm going to be showing you them in the same format as I did previously where I show you clips from the films in conjunction with the items and this way you won't have to put up with me talking over the pictures. For the next 24 or so videos that I will be putting up on YouTube, I will be showing you the remaining Italian horror and jello movies that I'm aware of at least, that I don't have any original pictures for at all.
Ferrati. Wer ist heute Abend im Schloss? Ich glaube, ein Italiener. Come ha ucciso il commendator Ferrata? 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 Come ha ucciso il commendator Ferrata?